It's tough. Uh, Utah, Utah State fan says, I agree with what Sailor said. Bitcoin seed phrase was not meant to be written down on a steel plate. That makes it no different than precious metals. Bitcoin should be pure consciousness. I mean, uh, that's a that's a very interesting argument for it. And I, I'm not even really sure how to react to that myself because I, I am a big believer in the fact that those 12 words or 24 words in your head are the most powerful thing about Bitcoin. The fact that you can hop on a plane, have 12 words in your head that nobody could ever access today, I guess, in the future, they might be able to read that from you. But today, there's no way that anybody could get access to those 12 words. You hop on a plane, you go wherever you want, you take your all your wealth with you up here. There's no other asset on earth that can do that. Not even close. Th think about it. Your bank account, you can't do that. They won't, they'll, they'll flag it. They'll stop you from doing it. Gold, you probably could take two coin, gold coins on a plane. You're going to take a piece of land on a plane. Your house, silver, hockey card collection. You can't do anything like that. So that that's, I do agree with that in the sense that it is pure consciousness. But at the same time, it's like, if you, if you go to the, to that point and you memorize it and something happens to you, you hop on that airplane and the plane goes down or you're driving to work the next day and you get hit by a bus, that Bitcoin's gone. And maybe people are okay with that. I don't know. That's a, that's a very interesting discussion. It's tough. It's really tough. Uh, you know, just thinking in my own head right now while I'm live on the internet. But for me, like you should do something like that. I, I think that every single person watching the show today should should go towards that. And what I mean by that is like, okay, this is very early. This whole thing's kind of new to us. Don't don't go too far. Don't overcomplicate. Don't try to memorize with your whole stack in there. Take like take a large percent of your my elbow's really itchy. What does that mean? Um, take a large percent of your Bitcoin stack, like let's say 85, 90% of it. Put it in a wallet in a cold card or in a multi-signature or multi-jurisdictional, like take care of that. Treat that as like your gold, really. And put that on steel, we'll do whatever you need to do with it. Make sure that that never gets lost. Your family, if that's what you want, your family is going to have that forever. Take 2%, 2%, create a couple wallets, memorize those keys. And if worse comes to worse, you still are going to have that up there. And just know that those 12 or 24 words up here, again, is the most powerful thing about Bitcoin. <clears throat> so I, I do encourage that, you know, and then if, if something happens, if you get hit by a bus, 2% of your stack's gone, that's okay. Or 4%, 5%, whatever it is. But I do think people should be making actionable steps towards that. Just don't do it too fast because you're, you're going to have a very pissed off family if something were to happen to you. It's like, you know, everything that you have in Bitcoin is a, a sum of your life's time and energy. Whatever value you've added to the world, that's what you're storing in Bitcoin. And so if something were to happen to you and that Bitcoin's gone, that's, to me, a waste of a life. But what do I know? Oh, yes, take a little break.